Hey guys, not so long ago I asked you what you wanted to see on my channel and a lot of you want to see more recipes, more vegan food. Last time I shared a what I eat in a day video and today I'm doing a lunchbox recipes <laughs> as a lot of you wanted it as well on my last poll on Instagram. I know a lot of you don't have access to any oven or microwave when you're at school or work. So I made an effort to make all these three recipes um, reheat free so you don't need to reheat them. and also so I use seasonal ingredients and keep in mind I live in France and I adapt to what's available on market and yes at the moment we do have tomatoes and cucumber even though summer is over <laughs> but of course feel free to adapt to whatever veggies you can find these are just ideas most of the recipes here will provide you for several meals and also note that these recipes are going to be satiating so a lot of time I see lunchbox recipes and I'm like how can people survive on that little food no these recipes are very very filling um, I ate them after I filmed these videos and yeah they were super super filling and also super yummy so I hope you enjoy them let's go first recipe is going to be this vegan tuna salad wrap and I don't want to brag but I've tried many vegan tuna salad before and this one is pretty much the best one. <laughs> so for this uh, you will need two ripe tomatoes and you cube them and you put them in a small bowl so that the water can drain away. And then we're taking about half a cucumber. That same thing we're gonna cut and try to make smaller little cubes or like dice like this and then set it aside as well and then we're using some chives and I just removed the end bit and then I don't know that's about how much I've put I would say maybe two tablespoons of chive then I'm taking a can of chickpeas and I rinse and drain them as per usual because chickpeas are actually really high in saponin which is a compound that's a little bit like soap so it's not really good for digestion and then pop them in a bowl and start to mash them with a fork alternatively you could use a blender if you're lazy or yeah if you're lazy <laughs> um, but just be careful not to turn it into hummus you still want a little bit of texture once the chickpeas are like mashed and flaky, tuna-like, then you're adding the veggies and you mix that all together. And by the way, this is gonna make a lot more salad than what you will need for the wraps, but you can keep it in the fridge for the next days. Then we're adding three large tablespoons of soy yogurt and some paprika, some nutritional yeast, and some salt. And all the measurements are gonna be in the description box below. Then you mix it all and oh yeah i forgot mustard of course <laughs> um yeah add mustard and mix it all together then you're taking two wraps or at least i'm taking two wraps you can take one two three four five whatever um i'm placing a huge salad leaf because i find that it helps to uh, keep the salad in place but unfortunately for this one, like I put way too much salad and like the wrap was very small. So that was pretty much a fail for me. <laughs> um, but you get the idea, it, either you take a bigger wrap or you put less salad into it. Or your other option is actually to take a parchment paper and then you place your wrap on top, you place your lettuce or you know any kind of greens you put this time I put a little bit less uh, tuna salad I think and I wrap the lettuce around and then I start to roll and then I fold the borders and then with the paper I'm gonna just like secure everything and then I'm just adding a tape so that it can stay in place whatever option you choose maybe you're gonna have to cut your wrap in half to put it in your Tupperware for dessert or a little snack, I have a few slices of apple with peanut butter, of course, and I squeeze some lemon juice on top to prevent from turning brown. I really hope you can try this recipe, it was so so bomb. Next we're making a potato and fig salad with a creamy dressing. So for this you will need 4 small potatoes. 
Um, you can choose to peel them or not. I personally like to peel them before cooking them. You can either do it after, before or just never. Then you're gonna pop a few holes with a fork and this is just to cook faster and also because I cook my potatoes in the microwave um, it's better so that it doesn't explode or <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but you can definitely boil them on stove if you prefer uh, I just find that microwave so so fast so I just put a little bit of water and then I cook them for 15 not even 15 minutes and they're done then you'll need a big fat mama cucumber <laughs> or any type of cucumber you have this is about like half a normal sized cucumber this is for the creamy dressing so basically you can do the lazy version and take a blender and pop it in if you don't have a blender you can use a cheese grater and you just grate it and it will work the same way but obviously i'm the lazy kind so yep <laughs> Then I'm adding some soy yogurt, some vinegar, some mustard, and some nutmeg. And I'm blending this until it's creamy for about 30 seconds. It's really quick. Then once the potatoes are cooked and cold, you're gonna cut them in bite-sized pieces. And you're gonna do the same with the figs. I use three figs. Feel free to use how many figs or little figs you like same I wanted some avocado because life would be so boring without it so <laughs> yeah but obviously if you don't like avocado don't use it you know feel free to use whatever veggie you want and of course a lot of lettuce or any other grain that I like to chop because I find it's easier to eat uh, from a jar than like having big big huge leaves so yeah, that's what I'm doing and this is the kind of dart that I like to use personally because it has a wide mouth so it's easy to clean and it's easy to um, eat from. So I start with the dressing, about half of the dressing that I made and then I'm gonna start with the heaviest ingredients first. So potatoes and then I add some clementines, some the figs and then a few cranberries and then the avocado and then the greens and feel free to push like it's gonna fit for sure <laughs> um, and then I had a few herbs remaining so I decided to add them and then you close the lid then you can pack it like that and just when you're ready to eat you're gonna shake it shake it shake it shake it this is a good arm workout by the way and yeah it's ready to dig in and enjoy For the last recipe, I want to show you how I make this butternut puree, vegan cheese and vegan blinis. After the big fat mama cucumber, we have the big fat mama butternut. <laughs> so take a butternut, it doesn't matter which size it is or any kind of squash you have. And I'm going to take that much, so about a quarter, but this is huge. And I was so confused about my butternut, like how it didn't have any seeds. What? Anywho, I'm just gonna peel it and I'm gonna make some chunks out of it and the smaller the chunks, the faster it's gonna cook, so it's up to you. And again, I'm cooking it in the microwave. I'm just a lazy girl who doesn't want to do the dishes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I do. I pop it in the Tupperware and I add a little bit of water and I cook it for 12 minutes. Once it's cooked, I remove the water and I mash it with a fork and this should be super easy and super quick to do. And then I'm adding some spices. Again, the exact spices and recipe is going to be in the description box below. I'm adding some soy cream. You could use coconut cream, but I actually find that soy is neutral. It doesn't have any additional flavor like coconut has so that's what I wanted for this recipe and it was so weird because this butternut actually looked a little bit like a spaghetti squash I don't know it was some kind of weirdo hybrid butternut anyways for the blinis recipe I'm gonna use two type of flowers and I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients so salt sugar and baking powder
that I'm adding the wet ingredients, which in this case are soy cream and soy milk. And I've tried different milks and it never really worked as well. So I would definitely recommend using soy products. Then mix it well until it's creamy. Secret ingredient here is the vinegar, which is gonna react with the baking powder to create some gas. So it's gonna make the blinis fluffy and give it a good stir. Then we're gonna cook them on a pan and it's about one tablespoon for one blinis. And you will see that there are some bubbles that are gonna start to come through. Let them entirely puck themselves, by themselves. <laughs> and then it's ready to flip. This recipe is gonna make about 20 blinis, so you have plenty of leftover. And I just wanted to quickly show you how fluffy it is in the inside. It's actually insane, I absolutely love this. Okay, so lastly for the vegan cheese, I actually have to tell you that this recipe didn't turn out as I wanted it. Like, yeah, I wanted something creamy and white and it turned out very lumpy and yellow. But it's probably one of the best cheese I've ever made. Basically, cashew, nutritional yeast, lemon, salt, and then I'm blending it and then I'm adding some walnuts and I blend it again. So yes, it doesn't look very, very nice and very appetizing, but it's actually so good. So I hope you try it out. All right, so now we have our three recipes. We're gonna just put them into our Tupperware or bento box. So blinis, vegan cheese and puree. And in the other box, I just like a lot of lettuce because I'm a turtle, I like lettuce. <laughs> no, but um, it's really great to have some greens with your lunch. And if you're wondering how do you eat that, basically I like to take one blinis, I put a little bit of lettuce on top, then I put a little bit of the vegan cheese, a little bit of the butternut puree, and I munch on it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video and these three recipes. Please let me know if you try any of them. Tag me on Instagram, send me your messages all the time. I'm so happy. Let me know what you think, what you want to see next. I can always adapt and I can always do more stuff for you. I'm always happy to do that. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this or to give it a like. And I appreciate your support a lot. So thank you guys and I hope I see you next time. Mwah.